Hello folks, today uh, I have uh, one paper uh, five here. Uh, actually, I gave it to the class to, uh, to do on this Monday in a certain college, but uh, uh, certain problems arose at the last, which uh, uh, unfortunately I have not uh, taken care of uh, throughout these uh, four or five months. This question belonged to the February-March session 2019, paper five two, and it's number two. But uh, the questions were published uh, during uh, around June, I suppose. But uh, I didn't take care till 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 uh, this month. So, but when I gave it to the class, uh, I, 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 the problem surfaced, and uh, uh, I had to take a break and work on it. So today I have uh, done the solution for, uh, for for this thing, the whole solution here. So since it is going to take a long time if I do it right here, I have prepared the solution and uh, I'll be explaining the steps. So it's concerned with viscosity actually. So it says that a student is investigating the motion of a small steel ball in cooking oil. Cooking oil, a measure of the oil's resistance to the ball's motion is called viscosity, of course. And as the units of Pascal second, Pascal second, uh, P is stands for Pascal and S for second. The student drops the ball, a ball into a cylinder of oil as shown. So this is the motion of the ball. Uh, this is the heat. It is for giving some temperature to uh, raising the temperature of the uh, thing. The velocity of the ball is measured when it becomes constant. So that means when it uh, attains the uh, terminal velocity. And then the velocity viscosity of the oil is determined. The experiment is repeated for different temperatures. Of course, we have two. And it says that uh, the viscosity eta, eta, the symbol eta, and the Celsius temperature theta related by this equation. So eta equal to P theta to power Q, where P and Q are constants. So as well, the first question has a graph is plotted of log uh, eta. So this is the log with uh, base uh, 10 on the y-axis and log theta on the x-axis. So find the uh, gradient and y intercept. So this always requires that in case of powers we have to take log. So log eta equal to uh, log of p theta power q. So uh, in log it is plus here. So log p plus log theta power q. And again in log we have this power comes to the coefficient. So it is uh, LGP is as it is plus q. So this q comes here q LG theta. And I have uh, interchanged the things because uh, uh, I want to change it to the form y equal mx plus c. So when I do this, uh, log theta, log theta on the x-axis, so x, uh, log eta on the y-axis, so y. So the term before uh, x should be slope. So q is the slope, q is the slope gradient. And uh, uh, the term after plus sign of log theta will be equal to the intercept LGP. So intercept is equal to LGP. So this is course uh, one mark without doing much first so then then the second page is like this so this is the second page this is the second page here so values of theta and uh, eta are given in page 2.2 so these are the values here these are the values here and let me uh, side by side uh, open up the graph page also so i have the graph page at the side of mine at the right side of mine so let me arrange the pages let me arrange the pages here like this. So now the uh, data has uh, several headings here. There are several headings. So we have uh, uh, theta in degrees Celsius. We have eta uh, in terms of 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second. So it is, uh, it means that it is 41 into 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second. So we have uh, uh, LG theta here to be filled up, LG eta to be filled up. So I did uh, LG for all these temperatures, but uh, since uh, error is not given here, we don't have error here. So, uh, what determines uh, uh, the what did what factor determines uh, how much we have to write? So, it is determined by the graph here. Okay, so, this is the graph here, uh, and uh, the graph has the x axis. In the x axis, we have got. So, in the x axis, what uh, I have is I have is I have is uh, in these ten divisions. In these ten divisions, I have got for ten divisions, I have uh, one sixty five minus one sixty. Which is equal to sorry 1.65 minus 1.60 is equal to 0 0.05. So that means one division will be equal to 0 0.005. So that means uh, this graph can measure up to uh, three places behind the decimal. Three places behind the decimal. So that's why that's why. So this data I can write this data till 
three places beside the decimal three places beside the decimal behind the decimal so that's why i have written all of them up to 3 dp i am not taking care of the uh, front quantity i am writing up to 3 dp because the graph can measure up to that quantity then regarding this log here uh, log, uh, the error here so we have to uh, we have error here and we have to write error for this thing also and the the value of error can be found by uh, found simply by this equation so let me uh, use a small equation here so uh, delta in delta in lz quantity so delta in uh, log type of quantity so where we have got uh, eta here should be equal to lz eta plus delta eta minus lz eta i can write this as lz uh, eta plus delta eta by eta equal to lz 1 plus delta eta by eta so when i do that i obtain these uh, type of errors so i have written the error in 2sf <coughs> you can write in one or two but in paper five i have made uh, uh, writing to uh, writing in 2sf compulsory for students is because uh, it gives us good graphs good graphs, especially when we draw the error bars so these are the errors and uh, since the uh, error or answer is start from the second digit after decimal we have to write the front quantity lz eta also in also in second also up to second uh, uh, second place after decimal error starts from second place after decimal the quantity is written up to second place after decimal so starts from written up to starts from written up. so all of them following the same pattern so then I uh, drew the graph I drew the graph and I drew the uh, error bar as well error bar as well so the error bars were uh, maximum here we have got to uh, five seven divisions up and down and here it is two divisions up and down up and down so finding the value is not much difficult but what uh, we had here was uh, here was the points were slightly uh, deviated here this point going slightly down and this also going slightly down so we drew the best fit and we drew the we drew the uh, worst fit also but while doing the worst fit what uh, happened was when i connected uh, the top of this point this point with the bottom of this point bottom of this point so these uh, error bars uh, could not be crossed so what i did was i i joined top of this point and bottom of this point so it crossed through all the bars as well as this bar also so here uh, things is things are slightly complex it's because uh, when i joined this top and this bottom these two error bars were not crossed so i did top of this and top of bottom of this uh, you might tell me why not try bottom of this and top of this if i do so then also several uh, bars were skipped so this was the best choice i had so top of this thing and bottom of this not this so with that i found the uh, i found the gradient gradient here so just gradients here so these are the values of the best gradient and the worst gradient i did calculations very very carefully so uh, the answer came to be this i wrote the answer to 2sf so 10 so once i write to 0 0.010 so once i write 0. Point, sorry 010 the error has started from the first digit after decimal so i have to write it uh, till the first uh, till the first place after decimal so i have to write only up to here so i have to round all of those here it became 1.5 so in, instead of 1.4, it's being 1.5. So this is the how the error has been expressed. Now, in the last page, the most important is the last page. The most, most, most important is the. So in the last page, I have got to find the intercept. So for the intercept, I can take a point in the in the graph. So what I did was I took the already existing point here. So I became a bit lazy here, lazy. I took one of the points and found the intercept. I found the best, I found the worst, and I did the uh, calculations. Did the calculations. And what it came out to be, uh, the uncertainty was uh, 0 0.1780. So I have to round it off here. So it becomes, uh, uh, when I round it off all these things here, it is uh, 0 0.18. So since the error starts from the first digit after decimal, I have to write this quantity till the, till the first digit after decimal. So I can write this, I can't write this, I can write only up to here. So it becomes 3.9. Uh, till now, till now, uh, this uh, 10, 10 to power minus 3 has nothing to do with our calculations. It's because this thing is incorporated within the within the 
uh, within the quantity, within the quantity, and LG means simply the power. So we still are dealing just with the intercept, just to, uh, with, uh, with the slope. So that's why this 10 to the power minus 3 is not featuring here. Now, in uh, question number D, we have using your answers to several of the upper upper uh, items, determine the values for P and Q. So we need to find the values for P and Q, and that requires the knowledge of the first page here. So in the first page, what we have been given was, what we have been given was, uh, this uh, y intercept C. This is C is equal to C is equal to LGP. So C equal to LGP. So C best equal to LG P best. C worst equal to LG P worst. So I have uh, best and worst values of C from here. C from here. I did this thing, so it came out like this. So the uh, uncertainty is this much, pretty large uncertainty. So I write it in 2SF, so it is uh, 2900. Uh, when I write that, so that means uh, when I write this 2900, this uh, error has started from the fourth digit before decimal. So decimal is here. Decimal is here. So the error has started from the fourth digit before decimal. So the main quantity we have is 8720.432. So that means I can write only up to here. And I have to round it off all these things. So that's why since it is 7, it comes to 9, 9, and I have rounded off all the other things. So 0, 0, 0 and so on. And uh, uh, from this thing, we have got Q equal to gradient. So I simply copy the value of gradient, the value of gradient here, value of the gradient, gradient uh, into Q. So Q equal to this much. And since we are not required to write units, um, um, I don't uh, I have to write the unit as well. So now the toughest part is here. Toughest or let us say, uh, let's not say toughest. Uh, it's just that uh, we did not uh, take care of when uh, the question was first published. So had we taken care of, uh, it would not have been an issue in the classroom. But uh, it became an issue because I was also confused and uh, I told the students to wait a few more days before I come up with a proper explanation. Or I just identify what has is actually happening here. Now uh, we have to do like this. So using your answer to D, this thing, determine the temperature theta at which the viscosity of the cooking oil is 0 0.10 Pascal second. So we have to find the temperature theta at which uh, the viscosity becomes 0 0.10 Pascal second. So first uh, I raise the formula for theta. So I have got uh, this P goes here. So eta by P equal to theta power Q. Then theta is equal to N by P. Uh, so theta power Q equal this much. So theta should be equal to N by P the power becomes reverse so 1 by q 1 by q then now here we are given eta equal to 0 0.10 pascal second so this 0 0.10 pascal second has to be expressed in terms of 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second because the graph whole thing is given in this manner so it's actually 41 into 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second or i can say it is it as it is 0 0.041 pascal second so they have expressed everything in 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second. So that's why what I need to do here is I need to change this 0 0.10 pascal second to 100 into 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second. So that means so eta in terms of 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second or I can say eta by this thing is equal to simply 100. So simply 100. So that this thing eta, the, the thing that we are doing here is should be equal to 100. So it is 100 into 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second. It is like 100 millis, uh, millipascal second. So that's why it is 100 here, this thing here. And uh, all these things have the same uh, same uh, type of calculation. So we have to change that. Either change this thing to this this form, these things to this form, or this thing to this form, or this thing to this form. So that's why I have changed, uh, changed it to the graphical form. So I have changed 0 0.10 in terms of 100 into 10 power minus 3 pascal second because that's what they have done. So I did this. Uh, so I got this. It is 21.15 degrees Celsius. So uh, I wrote this and uh, uh, and uh, if I need uh, 3SF, so it is 21.2 degrees Celsius. So after I achieve the uh, answer, I try to uh, compare this on the table. I try to compare this on the table. And the trend in the table shows that my approach is uh, correct. It's because, let, let us see here, let us see here. So uh, when uh, uh, temperature is... Uh, 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 79 uh, this viscosity is 14 into 10 power minus 3 
when 38 41 now when it is 21 when it is 21 somewhere here it has become 100 it has become 100 so that means the trend is correct so here it is uh, decreasing and here it is increasing so for 100 we need this thing as 21 or 20 or something like that so my approach is correct now if somebody does like this just uh, write here 0 0.10 0 0.10 the value will be totally different it comes to be around 1000 so some students got me 1000 value which uh, I felt that it is not correct it's because so to have uh, uh, 100 from 41 this thing will definitely not go to 1000 this thing not go to 1000 because it should decrease it should decrease it's high here low here it should decrease but their values increase so that's why i did this uh, i did this uh, to inform uh, to inform as well as give answer to all the students uh, who who tried deliberately to find a solution for this and find uh, a proper explanation for what is uh, what is being what is happening there so this is how we should do it thank you